Hi guys, today I'm baking a cake. Actually, let me rephrase that. Today I am making a no-bake cake. So we're not going to bake anything, but we are going to make some chocolate egg custard to go um, in between the layers of the cake. And this cake is going to be made entirely out of cookies. Simple, right? We're going to put a chocolate ganache on top of it and it's going to taste delicious. So let's do it. Follow me in the kitchen for a wonderful recipe of no-bake cookie cake. For this recipe you will need one pound box of butter biscuits, five eggs, two sticks of butter, it's about 230 grams, three quarter of a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a cup of dark chocolate chips, a quarter cup of rum or cognac, and for chocolate ganache you will need one cup of heavy cream, two chocolate bars which is about 200 grams, and some white chocolate for decoration. We're gonna start making egg chocolate custard for our filling. We're gonna separate five eggs. We're gonna start mixing our egg whites until the mixture reaches like a foamy consistency. And we're gonna add our sugar. And then when the mixture becomes really, really white, we're gonna add our egg yolks and a little bit of vanilla. And we're gonna start mixing it on a really, really high speed until the mixture uh, from yellow becomes slightly whiter. We're gonna put our egg custard on a double boiler and just make sure that the bowl um, fits the pot perfectly and we're gonna start um, heating up the egg custard. You need to keep whisking the egg custard until the mixture thickens up a little bit and heats up to the point where um, we can um, now melt the chocolate. So just throw the chocolate chips in and we're gonna try to melt them in this egg custard. You should be able to tell when the, cho the chocolate is all melted and the egg uh, custard will become slightly brown in color. At this point um, we can take it off the double boiler and um, set it in an ice uh, bath. We need to cool this um, egg custard, chocolate egg custard down so we can mix it with um, butter. In a separate bowl just add your room temperature, um, two sticks of butter and we're gonna start um, whisking the butter on the medium speed. To the well beaten butter we're gonna start adding our egg chocolate custard and we're gonna start adding it um, spoon by spoon and mixing it just a couple tablespoons at a time and just make sure you guys um, mix it thoroughly and sorry for the little mess um, I should have used the stand-up mixer but I just thought that uh, the hand mixer would be faster um, just add the remaining of your <coughs> egg chocolate custard and um, mix it again until it's nice and smooth and try not to over mix it because the butter otherwise will separate so the mixture is gonna look like this it's nice and silky okay fun time now we're gonna put this cake together so just find a container um, that you could fit um, the even rows of cookies so in my case I have um, 10 cookies across in two rows um, and um, put your cookies down do not put anything underneath them because um, um, we want a nice clean cut after we cake, uh, cut the cake so just spread your um, 
egg uh, custard, uh, chocolate custard on top of the cookies and then just follow up with another row of cookies. And continue with another layer of um, uh, custard and then another layer of cookies. We're gonna leave um, the top layer of cookies um, uncovered because we are gonna put the chocolate ganache on top. To make chocolate ganache you will need um, two bars of um, dark chocolate. I'm using um, a dark chocolate with a slight um, orange flavor and um, just cut the chocolate into little uh, cubes um, in a bowl and um, in a small saucepan um, heat up uh, one cup of heavy cream and try not to boil it just heat it up so it's really really hot and it will melt the chocolate so just pour your heavy cream over chocolate and start mixing it and at first it's gonna look like it's uh, totally not gonna um, come together but trust me it will so just keep mixing the chocolate if you need to heat it up a little bit more you can always uh, put it in the microwave for like maybe 30 seconds and uh, as you can see the chocolate ganache is gonna look like this it's uh, nice it's silky it's very glossy so we're just gonna pour it over um, the cookie cake and spread it out evenly make sure you cover all the the corners and the cracks and um, so it looks nice and even and we're gonna melt our white chocolate and put it in a little ziplock bag um, and we're gonna cut a little corner and I'm making sort of like a carnation design on this cake so we're just making circles and we're gonna take a toothpick and um, we're gonna draw wedges on a toothpick from the center out in one direction and then going back in another direction so as you can see it's gonna look really really pretty it's gonna look like uh, some kind of exotic flower or a carnation I would say normally I would keep this cake overnight and just serve it next day but I just couldn't wait to show you guys what it looks like inside so after maybe a couple hours I've decided to cut it open and as you can see I'm gonna take out one piece and show you I end up making five rows of cookies and um, it actually looks very beautiful and it's already moist enough but um, next day it would be just perfect so so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and I will see you soon bye